right, Nick, let's talk Cincinnati Bengals. This team, is, they're back. They're back. They did it. They beat the 49ers, one of the best teams in the NFC in convincing fashion. I think I'd say they they thrashed them. They absolutely dominated in this game. Joe Burrow looks back to form. Jamar Chase, huge game. I think the defense did a phenomenal job as well. All around, this team looked really, really good against a really, really good NFC team in the 49ers. But Bengals fans, but before we get into all of this, let us know in the comments below today, who is your MVP of the game? There's so many ways to go with this one, but let us know in the comments below, who is your MVP of the game? But Nick, let's get into the stats, kind of break it down a little bit, and then I want to know what your thoughts are on the other side. If we look at the stats today, Joe Burrow did great. 28 of 32 pinpoint accuracy, 283 yards, three touchdowns. A, almost a perfect pass rating. This guy did phenomenal. Jamar Chase back at it again. A huge 100-yard, one-touchdown game. I mean, the team looks like the Bengals that we all thought that they would be this year. Slow start to the season for them, but they're getting hot when it matters. They're starting to pick up steam when things matters, and we all know, you know, this is about the time you want to start getting into rhythm, working your way to that playoff spot. But Nick, what do you think about the team? What do you think about the performance? And what just overall, what do you think about the Bengals? So my thoughts coming into this game, I felt like this was going to be a really tough environment for Cincinnati because the fact that the San Francisco 49ers were coming off a tough loss to a Minnesota Vikings team and then losing to the Browns on a last second miss kick the week before, it felt like the 49ers, once Brock Purdy was cleared to play, that this was going to be kind of a statement opportunity for them against the Bengals team that, like you alluded to, Mize, has kind of been off and on in terms of getting consistent footing, even though Burrow's gotten healthier and we saw it, of course, today. But I thought this was going to be a tough environment for Cincinnati physically how they were going to match up, especially with that 49er defense. And they proved me 100% wrong. They were physically better than the San Francisco 49ers on both sides of the ball. I think that was going to be the big question mark. Joe Burrow played outstanding. Jamar Chase was ridiculous. But the big thing with San Francisco, and this is how they can find ways to beat you, even when they're off a little bit, maybe when they're missing one of their two of their guys, is is they're so physical and they're so smart of a football team that they can wear you down and generate big plays or just wear you down over the course of the game and take it over in the fourth quarter. The Bengals were the team that took it over in the fourth quarter. They were physical. Just I, I can't emphasize enough how much their offensive and defensive lines and frankly their running backs led by Mixon dictated the tempo of this game. Burrow was fantastic, 20 to 32, incredibly efficient, kept the chains moving, ran very well, whether it was with his scrambling for yardage or just scrambling to keep plays alive. So the fact that Burrow was up to you know prior form is outstanding. It makes them a Super Bowl contender by that alone. But the fact that their defense and their offensive line was as physically dominant as they were today, that to me should send a powerful message to the rest of the AFC. Because right now we look at the AFC. AFC is great. There's no doubt about it. Chiefs didn't look so good today. The Ravens are good, but they're very inconsistent. We know the Jacksonville Jaguars are kind of the young kid on the block. We don't know how good they are. The Miami Dolphins haven't played anybody. When they have, they lose big. The Buffalo Bills have been kind of meh this year, right? The AFC is just a mess at the top. This Bengals football team we just saw, if they can carry out the rest of the year, I think they have a chance to be the best team in the AFC. No, and no doubt, Nick. And this is an AFC North. It's extremely tight. It's just two games separate every team. And I think, you know, with the Pittsburgh loss, that bumps Cincinnati right up into the mix for second place. There's a tie there. I think things can happen. Baltimore won today, so they're a little bit further ahead. But I think this is a team that can really make a push. We know how lethal this Bengals team is coming down the schedule. They have some tough games, but like you said, uh, there's been teams that don't look so good as much anymore. The Bills, they've gotten beat pretty bad lately by some teams that you would expect them to beat. So coming into next week, I think this Bengals team has a good chance to beat the Bills. Texans look like crap today. They lose to the Panthers. The Ravens, they're inconsistent. Like you said, there's a chance to win that game. Going on down, this is a very good schedule leading into the last two games of the seasons, Chiefs, Browns, and like we said, who knows what you're going to get out of the Chiefs on a day-to-day -day basis. They've looked inconsistent at its best as well. Today was a very poor showing for them. So I think this Bengals team looks really good. They're playing good, and they're getting hot at the right time. Nick, I have a question. How much of this do you think is attributed to coming off the bye, getting a little bit of time to rest, coming into this game fresh? Joe Burrow looks fresh. This team looked like a whole different Bengals team when you say 
Well, I think Joe Burrow's performance was predicated on the bye, right? Just getting the rest, getting his calf back under place. But again, as great as Burrow was today, how about their how physical they were and how much they won the line of scrimmage? Because that was going to be my concern. This was going to be a pissed off San Francisco 49ers team coming off two losses, desperate for a win, right? Because now they've fallen well back at the Philadelphia Eagles for first place in the NFC. So this is a 49ers team coming into this game. I thought they were going to come out and play physical. I thought they were going to come out and play aggressive. And I thought that that would create some problems for the Bengals up front on both sides of the ball. Not the case at all. I think that's the biggest sign because obviously great quarterback play will always give you a chance. We saw with the Bengals run to the Super Bowl a couple of years ago. But if this team can be physical and win at the line of scrimmage, both on the offensive and the defensive side, while also battling through some injuries as well, obviously a physical game, some guys are going to get banged up. I think this proves to me that this is a Cincinnati team. They're a lot better than the record is showing right now. And I guarantee you, you look at teams like the Chiefs, you look at the Ravens, you look at every contender in the AFC right now. This is a little concerning because the way you beat the Bengals before, right, is you said, well, we'll just we'll dominate the line of scrimmage and we'll try and contain Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow. But if you can't dominate the line of scrimmage against Cincinnati, I mean, they're, they're almost unbeatable. Obviously, this is just one game, small sample size, but to do this against San Francisco in San Francisco, that sent the NFL a powerful message.